Hi friends, it's Jennifer from Live, Laugh, Love to Read. Today we're going to go to my favorite bookstore, Gardner's Used Book and Music. So, it's the largest used bookstore in Oklahoma and it's about 30 minutes from my house. So, let's go take a look and see what they have today. Here we are, Gardner's Used Books and music. It's the largest um, used bookstore in Oklahoma here in Tulsa. So let's just go in and see what we got today. So how does that work? So right when you walk in, we got this dude. <laughs> oh. like huh? No, I don't need marbles. So here's about all the, your uh, like manga. I think that's how you say that. Which I'm not into, but there's a lot of people who are. So yeah, this is like a really old store. So this is like the media side, of course, the movies and such. There's lots and lots and lots and lots of books. And it's all, you know, in genre. And one thing that is kind of cool nowadays with, if you think, is that you can actually get erotica at used bookstores which is crazy to me because used to you would have to order you know something like that with but nowadays it's not a big deal so yeah they have all your I mean it's also this is like the general fiction section which is my favorite section and then but you could totally get lost in here like <laughs> this is such so much. I mean, and one thing is, like, if I'm looking for a certain book, a lot of times that I will find it here, like, because they just have that much. Like, there's a whole section of Ellen Hildebrand, which is kind of a hit and miss for me. And I've read a bunch of hers, so. And one of the best things is they have Miss Pac Man. Oh my gosh. I love Miss Pac Man. I'm really good at it too. Okay, we're gonna play Miss Pac Man. I told y'all I'm really good at this and you watch. I might not be today. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I have a pattern, see, because I used to play this all the time when I was a teenager. As I told you, we lived by one, and we um, had a table one from right down the street from our house. We had a, um, oh no, oh no you don't. Oh no you don't. Oh my gosh. The trick is to not leave dots hanging out, see. And I don't really care to eat all of them, not really. Like if they're in my way, I do, but otherwise I don't really care. Not making it stop. Yeah. Anyone see this 
part. This is a cool part. This one looks kind of good. Hmm. Imagine me gone. Oh, look what they've done. <laughs> and no. Oh, gosh. Okay, so I love Amy Hatvanny. Vainy, and oh my gosh, they have a bunch. And I don't think I've read this one. Holy cow! Holy cow! Yeah, we might be getting those. Yeah, that was exciting. I haven't read two. Two. Yes. So exciting! Yay! I'm so excited. Let's see what this is. It's a cute cover, but no. What's this one? Don't you hate when they put stuff so tight you can't get it out? I hate that. Surely jump. Ooh, look at this big fat book. Okay. Yeah, they have like some like okay, so you come in and you you trade. So I just brought in a big bag and what they do is they apply it to your account and then um when you check out the books, you pay one dollar plus a tax for each book, and I take it off your, take it off your, um, balance. So yeah, it's really cool. So you can really find some really old stuff here. I mean, look at these. Which is kind of cool. I mean, not that I read any of that, but it's still cool that you can find it here. And then they've got, um, yeah, like, they just got, like, gobs and gobs of books. They just keep it going and going and going. <laughs> yeah, just keep it going and going. And I love that, that it stays the same. Like all these years, it just stays the same. Even like when it changes, uh, it changed owners not too long ago. And yeah, it still kind of stay the same. But I have to say, I haven't found the erotica. <laughs> Because they used to have a section, and now I didn't find it because I was going to show you, but maybe they don't have it anymore. Yeah. I don't know. Here's a really big section of romance books. And then back here, now see, I haven't been back here in a while. Oh, look, okay, so there's a whole bunch of Fifty Shades of Grey up there. Okay, so I haven't been back here in this section in a while, so, yeah, I need to look back here. They used to have the, um, like, memoirs back here, and, like, True Story and stuff like that, but now I see they don't. So I don't know where they moved them to. See, and this is new. This section, this is a new section because 
I haven't seen this yet, so that's kind of cool. Looks like yearbooks. Wow. It is yearbooks. That is so cool. So yeah, we're in Tulsa, Oklahoma, so of course there's going to be a bunch of um, Oklahoma in there. But yeah, this is new because I've never seen this section before. Like I said, they have new owners, so that's kind of cool. They have yearbooks. Wow, I didn't know that now. Anyway, they do have um, a bunch of westerns. My dad's really into westerns, but then they have like Mountain Man and Preacher and yeah. So yeah, this whole section is like your romance. Um, is it called trade paperbacks? Like the smaller ones? Yeah, that's what the, all this is. A whole bunch of them. Even right there. Like, all of those shelves right there, all the way down, are romance. It's crazy. Look at that. It's a bunch of them. And then a whole bunch of westerns. Always come here and get uh, Christmas gifts and um, birthday gift for my dad because he likes westerns but he's read like all the Louis L'Amour and all that so I come here to get ones that aren't those and keep him supplied <laughs> in westerns because he likes the old ones you know like like these yeah he likes he likes these, these old ones okay so this must be like overstock of stuff because this isn't any kind of order I noticed but I think in this book this looks kind of good yeah I think this I'm gonna get this one and I don't know I love Mary Kay Andrews but I've read all of hers and the library has all of hers too so Oh wait, guess what? <laughs> I found the erotica! That's back here in the romance. That is too funny. So yeah, they have a pretty pretty good selection too. I mean, but it's funny that they put it way back here in the very, very back because it used to be in the front. Too funny. Let's just see what they got. So I'm kind of picky, like when it comes to erotica, because I mean I don't know. Like I didn't really like. I tried to read Fifty Shades of Grey, and I was like, mm, this is not really my thing. Um. So yeah, I have to be like into the story or not so yeah Anything. I don't know about Maya Banks though. Like they have one there and one there. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of dark behind it. Hmm. Well, here's a mystery section. Oh, and they have Tess Garrison, which I have seen some of hers, but 
which I'm not really into mystery that much. But if you are, they have a bunch. Jennifer Cabern. I wonder if they're same if they're related, because that's not a very common last name, I wouldn't think. Tell me something true. Don't you just love covers like that? Oh, so pretty. Hmm. Not about that. But look look at their um what is that Darth Vader? I'm not a Star Wars fan, so I think that's Darth Vader. Yeah. And the girl over there. And over there. And then they have a whole Christian fiction section. If you like that. Like a whole bunch. Yeah. So I've read her before. Jean Reynolds Page. I've read that one. But I haven't read this one. This one looks good. I'm gonna get that one for sure. And I'm looking for um see if they have any t uh, Taylor Jenkins read besides you know the regular I think I don't know if I've read all of her or not um oh look there's another one Jean Reynolds Page the last summer of her other life that one looks good too I think I'm gonna get that too nope no Taylor Jenkins read except for that one we seen earlier Daisy and the Six which I did not like and tried to read twice and didn't like it. <laughs> That's okay. I liked all her other ones that I've read. And then since um, I usually have uh, Oklahoma books right here, but I don't see any. They must have moved them. It's funny how earlier I said that this stays the same. <laughs> And now I'm finding stuff that they've changed, which is too funny. But I mean, it's still basically the same, but they've moved stuff around a little bit after someone else bought it. It's cl I think it's cleaner too, actually. Oh, I have this book at home. I haven't read it yet. And it's got a different cover. Oh, love T. Greenwood. Oh yeah, let's see what they got. T. Greenwood read this one, read this one, read this one. So they don't have any that I haven't read. Well, they have a bunch of G Jane Green, but I have several Jane Green at home that I have not read. So, we should not do that. <laughs> you know, like, I don't need these four books in my hand, but I'm going to be getting them anyway. Hmm. Is that Yoda? I don't know. I'm not, I don't know if Star Wars, but I think that's who that is. Look at all these old, like, history and such. And here's the kids section, which they definitely have changed. I used to buy a lot of kid books here, because for my other channel that I don't have anymore, because I used to read with kids books. But now I don't, now I don't need to. So all the kids books that I did buy for my other channel all go into the Little Free Library. That's pretty big. Pretty big. <laughs> Got 
one looks like some good ones, which I read that one. It was good. Someone knows. And the other ones I'm not really interested in. And a small section of Stephen King. Cookbooks. A lot of cookbooks. I used to love just to sit down and read cookbooks. I'd get them from the library and I think I probably read all of theirs. And sometimes I'd make stuff out of them, you know, but it was just cool. There's a little cafe over there. It doesn't look open, but I've never been to it. And the bathrooms. The bathrooms are really nice now. They didn't used to be, but they are. You don't care to see it, I know. <laughs> Oh, this is Gardeners. It's really cool. I think it's really cool. I love that I can go to it every Saturday if I want to. So, I hope you enjoyed that um, tour of Gardeners. It's pretty cool and it's really big. So, I'm going to show you what I got. I'm not going to do... Um, a haul on these. I'm just going to show you what I got and I'll do a different video of the haul because this video is going to be really long anyway. So without further ado, this is what I end up picking up. Safe Within by Jean Reynolds Page. And I got the other one, The Last Summer of Her Other Life by Jean Reynolds Page. And then I got... Now and Then Friends by Kate Hewitt. And then I was so excited to see these. You see me get so excited while we were there. Um, two books by Amy Hatvaney, which is one of my all-time favorite authors. If you have not read Amy Hatvaney, you should because I love her books. So It Happens All the Time by Amy Hatvaney. And Safe With Me by Amy Hatvaney. So that was what I ended up picking up. So um, I will do a haul video on those um, another day where I actually read the um, synopsis for you and tell you what they're about. Um, and this is what I got. <laughs> so if you like this video, give me a, a like. And please, if you would, subscribe. And check back because there's going to be more videos coming up soon. Also, uh, I, me and my husband will be going on a cruise in about three, three weeks' time. And we will be doing uh, quite a few videos of the cruise ship and all that. And I'm probably going to do some um, book reviews uh, from my balcony with the ocean behind me. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, check back because that, that'll be coming up soon. Well, not soon. We're, we have, we're going in three weeks, so the video won't be up until after that. But it, you know what I mean. <laughs> anyway, that's all I have for today. Thanks, friends. I'll see you next time.